Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more Apa's video. Cooking Apa. Hi, this is Cooking Apa. Today I'm going to uh, steam a snapper fish uh, using the Lan Jie Fei Zhou Yi style. Yeah? Um, so what I do here is actually very simple. Uh, steam the fish, make the sauce, pour the sauce over. It's that simple. Yeah? So I have uh, probably about 600 grams of snapper here, good for about 3 three adults. Um, then what we do here is I will put um, two pieces, one to two pieces of um, ginger in the fish cavity and also put on top. Uh, now one thing about steamed fish is always, this is important, yeah? How to re first help to really remove the fishiness from any steamed fish, which is you need to understand the source of fishiness, which is the kidney. The middle part, yeah, the middle part here, there's a lot of uh, blood hidden inside. That is actually the kidney, and that is the source of fishiness. Wash it away using uh, some toothbrush to help you. That will remove at least 80% of the fishiness from your steam fish. So that's why your steam fish will not be fishy. And of course, later after we steam, we also don't want the steam fish water. That is also the source of fishiness. Okay, so after you wash the fish, wash the kidney, uh, we will actually uh, put in the, 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 the ginger and then we will actually sprinkle it with a little bit of salt marinate it with a little bit of salt then we can put it inside the uh, steamer okay so you just uh, use your steamer yeah whatever steamer you have make sure your water is boiling okay Papa will be using this steamer today from Pacifica I'm going to steam it for approximately about 10 minutes. There you go. It will steam by it will steam by itself and let's go make the sauce. Okay, the sauce is actually very simple. We need one bowl of chicken stock, yeah? One bowl of chicken stock. Then here we have some uh, about 2 tablespoons of minced ginger. Uh, about similar amount of minced uh, green, green uh, spring onion, uh, garlic, also uh, chili. Now I'm using big chili because I'm the only one who can take spicy at home. Uh, my family don't take spicy. So if you want more kick, use chili padi. Or you can mix some chili padi inside here. Okay, but I chili. But this is the big chili I'm using, not spicy at all. But it will give you some nice chili flavor and aroma. And here, I have some minced, uh, sorry, chopped uh, spring onion and also fresh coriander. Okay, so and of course you will need some light soy sauce, oyster sauce, and stuff. Very simple, uh, seriously. Okay, so get ready a wok or pan. Um, I'm going to start with some garlic oil, or you can use any vegetable oil that you have. I use garlic oil so it actually will become more fragrant. Okay, I always got homemade garlic oil, uh, garlic oil at home. Oh, we're going to on the fire. Then, you want to saute all this ingredient here. The white portion of the spring onion, garlic, ginger and also chili. We'll come back shortly. Okay, if it's too dry, just add more oil here. Um, but I, this is after about a minute plus sauteing, getting more and more fragrance. So all the aroma has, uh, of the ingredient has gone into the oil. So oil now becomes a nice seasoning to your sauce. So only about one minute plus, this is, we can now put in the chicken stock. And let's uh, give it some seasoning. I'm going to start with some oyster sauce. Okay, maybe about one tablespoon. A little bit of light soy sauce. And uh, what else? I don't mind giving a few dashes of white pepper. 
And usually, uh, Lanjie Fei Zhou Yi is dark in black. In, uh, the sauce is dark in color, so I'm going to add in some dark soya sauce. This is more for the color. At least about one tablespoon. Wow, I can smell it already. Let me wash my hand. And we are going to give it a bit of salt. With a bit of sugar. Basically our sauce is done. Super super fragrant. Okay. Done. Let's wait for the fish. Okay, the fish is ready. So uh, if you have this particular steamer like Apan, whenever you open this, you have to open outwards because the steam will release. Yeah. See, all this thing, it will hurt your hand, so open outwards, so that it's safe. Okay, see, um, all this fishy water, can you see the fishy water? Let me show you. Ooh. See all the fishy water there? Okay, don't want all this fishy water. This is the source of fishiness as well. So get something to help you to slowly move the fish. Over to a serving plate. See how much fishy water I have. Some people told me Appa this is this is natural goodness. No. <laughs> Should there there is no you cannot find any Chinese restaurant in this world that will serve you the steam fish with the fishy water. They will throw it away. 100 percent Okay? So uh next thing is to remove the ginger. Beautiful, look at the fish, it's really beautiful. Okay, of course, next thing is our beautiful fish sauce. Wow, oh, this is gonna taste so good, and not forgetting our spring onion. And our fresh coriander and done. Oh, we can give it a final few dashes of a bit of white pepper on top. Done. Beautiful Lan Jie. Mm, I'm not using Fei Zhou Yi. Lan Jie usually uses the tilapia and they are very famous with their one person one fish. So they usually don't use a very big fish. Okay, so uh, I hope you like my very simple video today. If you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Appa Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow Appa on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Appa YouTube channel. Oops, <laughs> sorry my finger. Okay, bye bye.